Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to do this video. Um, Beauty and the Beast is one of my all-time favorite Disney movies. Um, I was fortunate enough to see the uh, the live action that they did and it was absolutely amazing when um, I saw that Laroc did this Beauty and the Beast collection that absolutely came out of nowhere. It was like, oh yeah, by the way, boom. We have a Beauty and the Beast collection. I was all over it. Um, the only thing I was not able to get were the lipsticks, so I'm waiting for that to come back in stock. But I did get the eyeshadow palette, the blush palette, and the lip glosses. So that is what we will be going over today. Um, everything that I am wearing today is from the collection. Um, I'm in love. <laughs> I am so in love. So um, let's start with the eyeshadow palette. This is the box that it comes in. Look at that. That is so beautiful. I love that. And then of course on the back it has um, all the different colors and the names. Um, it says it's inspired by Belle's steadfast strength and undeniable beauty. We created the Lorac Los Angeles limited edition eyeshadow palette to take you on a magical journey of wonder and romance. Whether you're well acquainted with our legendary pro palettes or seeing them for the first time, you'll be enchanted with these 16 all new and exclusive shades from our best in class pro formulas. Oh man, look at this. This is your palette. Tale is all its time. <sighs> so beautiful, set up like a book. Now this is amazing, look at this, okay? So you have your little tab here, listen magnetic so it keeps it nice and tight <sighs> then you open it up and this is what you have the beautiful palette it's got a, a beautiful mirror um, and it has all your 16 shades it comes with a nice brush that I haven't touched yet I just use my own brushes um, it says true beauty is found within and on the side it says love looks not with the eyes but with the mind look at that Look how beautiful those shades are. <sighs> yes, 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 yes. I'm in heaven right now. So um, let's go ahead and do some swatches. Now, when I first um, swatched these, I actually put a, a, a mini picture up on Instagram. I barely touched them and put them on my finger. Like, they were so pigmented. And they are so soft to the touch. They are amazing. So um, with the swatches, we are going to start from left to right, top to bottom. Okay? Okay, so um, I am going to do this very light-handed. I am not going to take my finger and just like dig, dig, dig. This is going to be a very light touch swatch. So you can just see how pigmented these are. Um, so the first one we're going to do is Dream It. Timekeeper, Our Guest, and Empress. All right. There's your first row. Like I said, these are so light-handed, and look how pigmented that is. Absolutely stunning. All right, next row, um, starting with that really pretty blue that pops right out of the palette, is Beast Mode, Enchanting, Swept Up, and Look Beyond. Okay. All right. There is your next row. Now look how solid that black is, and for having a little bit of sparkle in it, usually those are really, really patchy, but not this one. So that's what we have so far. Those are your first two rows. Very nice. All right, so the next row we have is My Castle, Chip In, Romance, and Spellbreaker. All 
All right, now this one definitely matches my skin tone, so that's a really, really nice uh, transition shade or a base. We're gonna go in with the very last row in our beauty, tea time, TikTok, and real you. All right. And there's your last row. Like I said, very light-handed, so pigmented. They are soft, they are blendable, and they are just absolutely amazing. Amazing quality. This palette is off the chain. <laughs> so there are all your colors right there. If you have not picked this up yet, and you want beautiful, blendable colors, um, and you absolutely love Beauty and the Beast, this is so worth it. This is an amazing palette. I was a little skeptical. I mean, my Pirates of the Caribbean, it was okay, um, but this is off the charts amazing. This is worth every single penny. So glad I got my hands on this. All right, so moving on, uh, we're gonna do the cheek palette. Um, now this is the packaging that it comes in. Um, and this one says, uh, drawing on hues of the iconic flower, this rose-inspired palette includes four new and exclusive shades from our color source buildable blush and light source illuminating highlighters. This is your case. It says Beauty and the Beast right there. And then you open it up, you get a beautiful mirror, and then these are your shades. Uh, on the mirror it says, she was fearless. I think that is a nice touch. All right, so we're gonna do See Beyond, Fearless, Enchanted, and Rose. Let's see, where do I have room? <laughs> All right, these four right here. These are your three. Uh, these are your three blushes, and this is your highlighter. Very pigmented, very soft. Um, a little bit more pink than what I was expecting, but they are still beautiful. I'm still ec ecstatic that I got uh, this collection. So, and last but not least. We have the lip glosses that I was able to get. Um, the packaging on this is beautiful. Look at this, okay? It says Beauty and the Beast. It has roses all along. Look how pretty these are. Aren't those so nice? <sighs> All right, so we are going to start with the red shade, um, and this is the color Red Rose. Where is my mirror? Hmm. Okay, so this does not match this. You can see this looks red, solid red in the tube. It, it's supposed to be red rose, and it is pink. This is not red. Um, even coming off, especially in the camera, it looks like a hot electric pink. So, I'm bummed by this one. I can't believe I'm gonna say that. Everything has been so amazing, but this, is not okay I wanted red oh my gosh let's go ahead and move on to the next ones because that was that's sad so I know um, I left off at the red but I was having a really hard time with everything showing up um, color wise through the video so I j I'm just gonna give you um, arm swatches of these um, I'm gonna start off with the red again So that's Red Rose, which is not red. It's a very, very bright pink. Can you see it on the applicator? 
that is a hot electric pink that's not red <sighs> why does that one make me so mad all right this is believe That one's really pretty. I like that one. All right, so this one is Savoir Faire. I like that name. That's cute. Not the straightest of lines, um, but as you can see, that one's really, really sheer. So that's more of like a lip tint uh, for me. Next we have True Beauty. All right, and last we have <clears throat> Thresh Chic. That one's coming off extremely sheer. Oh my gosh. So, I'm a little disappointed in the lip glosses. I was so excited over the palettes and the cheek set. Those are amazing. These are definitely not what I was expecting. They're very, very sheer. I, I'm disappointed. Like I said, this is hot pink. I wanted red. I know I've said that like three times now, but those are a bummer. I am I'm not happy with these. So um, if you're going to buy the collection, Definitely stick with um, the eyeshadow palette, stick with the cheek palette, even probably stick with the lipsticks. Um, I don't believe that the lip glosses are worth it. I love lip glosses, but these colors are just not anything I expected them to be. I like the names. I think they're cute. The packaging is amazing, but it's just not worth it. These are more along the line of maybe kid lip glosses. Like I could literally give these to my nine year old daughter and she would be stoked. So stick with this. These are what the collection is all about. These are worth your money. These are not. So, so that's it for the review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That is my honest opinion about the whole collection. Um, I love Beauty and the Beast. I cannot say that enough. This hit it out of the park for the eyeshadow and the cheek palette. Um, and I hope you guys will tune back into my next video. So hit thumbs up if you did like this video and please check out my Instagram. I have that link down below. Have a great night. Bye. All right. So that is it. That is my honors review about the collection or the part that I have minus the lipsticks. I love the eyeshadow palette. Excuse me. I love the cheek palette. The lip glosses, I don't think are worth the money. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so that's it for my honest review. Um, I love the eyeshadow palette. I love the cheek palette. I am not blown out of the water with these lip glosses. I can give them to my nine-year-old daughter because that's what these are. These are kid lip glosses. They are not worth 30-something dollars. More like 10. Um, total disappointment in those. But all in all, um, I am happy Alright, so that is it for my honest review of this collection, or the parts that I do have. Um, I love the eyeshadow palette. I love the cheek palette. 
these are a total letdown. These are not worth your money. I do not suggest purchasing these. I can give these to my nine-year-old daughter because that's what they are. They are like children's lip glosses. Um, worth maybe $10, not 30 something. So these are no, I do not suggest these. But everything else, absolutely superb. Um, but that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up if you did like the video and subscribe to my channel. So if you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button down below. Um, I also have my Instagram account linked down below. So I hope you guys follow me there and you all have a great night. Bye.